Hey everyone, it's Leo K. Yet another request, this one coming from Varys, asked me to explain every weapon type in Assassin's Creed Unity. Before we get into this, I'd like everyone to understand that I'm not a combat player, I don't enjoy fighting in this game, and that naturally means my exploration and understanding of melee weapons is more limited, contrasted against my understanding of stealth, tool use, and movement, which I believe are Unity's true strengths and where the game is actually most enjoyable. However, I do have some basic knowledge of every weapon type and their functions, so let's go ahead and learn about these. Assassin's Creed Unity has six weapon types. Some of these may seem the same, but they're subtly different. If I've chosen to segregate two that seem the same from each other, it's because I perceive their differences to warrant separate examination. These weapon types are one-handed sword, one-handed mace, spear, heavy weapon, rifle, and guillotine gun. The God Combo before explaining the uniqueness of each weapon type, you should know that all of them, at least on a basic level, play fundamentally similarly to all the others. The god combo works with every single one of these. Perfect parry, staggering strike, and a grounded projectile will instant kill any guard who can be put on the ground, no matter what weapon you're using. So first of all, you should practice and master this combo, because it should be your standard approach to reaching maximum deadliness in a fight. Early Finishers Holding down the attack button when an enemy's HP is low enough will let Arna do a finisher animation on them even if they're actually still actively fighting you. Stronger weapons can do finishers on enemies at higher and higher health percentages. <laughs> to kill or not to kill. Now that all of that's out of the way, let's cover lethality and non-lethality. Some weapons in Unity do not cause the enemy to die, even if you execute a finisher animation on them. These weapons are marked with a non-lethal element, and they'll always leave enemies wriggling and squirming on the ground in pain, instead of actually killing them. If you're really struggling with certain full sinks that demand you don't kill anyone, or you want to leave enemies alive for role-playing purposes, these are the kinds of weapons you'll want to be playing with. The two weapon types that trend toward being non-lethal are maces and rifles, because they're both blunt and dull striking weapons that don't actually cut or pierce into the enemy, they just knock them around a bit. There are three methods to taking down an enemy in combat without killing them. The first is to perform a finisher on them with a weapon that's non-lethal, like the ones we just described. The second is to deplete their HP with any weapon, but then instead of hitting them again, hit them with your staggering strike to put them on the ground. And the third is to deplete their HP with any weapon and then ignore them until they fall down by themselves. This is tricky to keep track of in heated battles, but it's a way to preserve your enemy's life if you're playing with blades but still want to roleplay some kind of pacifism. Weapons that aren't marked with a non-lethal element will kill the enemy if you hit them with a finisher. It's not really important to keep these things in mind if you don't care about them, but I thought I'd cover them for the sake of being thorough. Now that we've covered these general concepts and introductions, I'm going to start talking about the actual weapon types, starting with one-handed swords. Swords are probably the most basic weapon type. One would certainly get that idea since Arno starts out with one as his main weapon. Before you ever get to switch weapons to anything else, the game will teach you its basic combat controls using a sword in your hands. Swords are fast, that's probably their greatest advantage over anything else. Animations take the least time out of any other weapon type, and since damage isn't connected to weight class in this game, having a really fast one-handed sword that has high damage pretty much means swords are quote the best weapon type in the game. That doesn't mean you can't have fun with others, of course. Swords, like every other weapon, have a basic three-hit combo, after which Arno's chain will end and the enemy will be able to attack you again. You can sneak in a quick shot, a stun bomb, or a smoke bomb if you really want to keep your aggression going after those three hits are up. Sword Heavy Attack fires off automatically as soon as the charge for it has completed, which means it doesn't take any special timing in order to let go and use it, unlike some of the other weapons. You remember what I said about early finishers and how holding down the attack button lets you finish enemies instantly even if their health hasn't hit zero? Combine this with how simple sword heavy attack is to use and you can basically spam heavy attacks only with this weapon type and constantly be getting finishers on enemies very early. With higher level swords, spamming nothing but heavy attack and then parrying whenever you have to quickly becomes an optimal strategy. It basically means that it's super overpowered and you don't have to worry about much else. This strategy goes through all blocks, guaranteed, it doesn't require any thinking or decisions to make, and it kills everyone really fast as long as they're not dodging you. 
Sure, you have to wait through some drawn out finisher animations, but you can still parry out of those if other enemies decide to attack you, and that will let you go right back to one-shotting your next victim. All of this converges into one thing, fighting with swords is simple and effective. One-handed mace. Maces are basically swords, but non-lethal. Their animations are a little bit faster, or at least that's what it feels like to me. Use this weapon type if you want to be agile and attack quickly, but you don't necessarily want to slaughter your enemies. Basically what I'm saying is use maces if you want to be French Revolution Batman. Some of these look deadly as hell, but I suppose we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, or a non-lethal bludgeon by its appearance as a brutal spiky metal ball on a stick. Seriously, this one looks more lethal than most of the swords. They pretty much fight the same way as swords, including how their heavy attacks work for finishers. Spear. Spears have long range, but since Unity uses a paired animation system, the range of a weapon doesn't really affect gameplay the same way it would in a hitbox-based fight system. Instead, you would pick spears if you want a sharp and fast weapon type that's not a sword. All the others are either blunt or way too heavy and chunky looking. Spears poke. It's what they do. Their animations are some of the coolest in the game, their staggering strike is kung fu as hell, and their heavy attack is where it gets really intense. See, most of the time to get an enemy on the ground, you'd have to staggering strike them twice, or staggering strike them from a perfect parry. With spears, their heavy attack is a sweep that grounds an enemy instantly. The downside is, of course, you have to time and release this when it's ready. The attack won't activate by itself, you can end up holding it forever. Once enemies are on the ground, you can shoot them with your gun for some really stylish looking kills. Spears also seem marginally easier to time parries with, but at the end of the day, once you've played the game enough, this doesn't really matter. Heavy Weapon Heavy weapons are weird. There are heavy swords, heavy cleavers, heavy axes, but they're all heavy, they all have the same animations, and they all play exactly the same. The main characteristic of the heavy weapon class is that they're slow, they let you feel like you're doing chunks of damage even if statistically that's not how this game works, remember, damage is disconnected from weight class, so a max damage sword and a max damage heavy both do the same damage on hit, but the sword is faster. And finally, their heavy attack is utterly destructive. Charging up and releasing this feels like it can instant kill most enemies near your damage level that don't evade it. I'm not really a huge fan of heavy weapons in any game I play, but with this weapon type, because your attacks are so slow, you naturally have to be a little bit more defensive. When you have a choice between a parry or an attack, and you're not sure which one is best, always parry. If you save yourself now, you can deal big damage to the enemy after. Rifle Rifles are, to me, the most entertaining weapon to fight with. Firstly, they're naturally non-lethal when used as a melee armament, so you can leave lots of piles of wriggling bad guys on the ground if you're trying not to kill anyone. If you want to roleplay as a badass ranger or musketeer who sneers at all the cannon fodder that rise up to fight him, saying, you're not even worth killing, and other sick one-liners like that, rifles are for you. Their staggering strike is Arno straight up hitting an enemy with the butt of the rifle, which looks cool and seems to have less recovery than some of the other staggers. Rifles do have a heavy attack, just hold the button down. You can tell that it's a heavy attack and not a normal attack, because it will have a red streak. If it's not working for you, just buy up all the heavy attack skills until you find the one that eventually causes it to happen. I think that rifles heavy attack innately, that it doesn't need to be unlocked, but in case you're having trouble getting the red streak while holding the button down, like I said, just buy all the heavy attack skills. There's something undeniably cool and assassin-like about the sheer pragmatism of striking enemies with your firearm than fluidly twisting your grip and body into a reactive gunshot against the opponent you just smacked. It's really, really anime, and that appeals to my sensibilities. Rifles quickshot with bullets faster than other weapon types, because there's no additional animation for getting the pistol out of your holster and then taking the shot. The weapon is already in Arno's hands, so you get someone on the ground, and then POW! Mm, as satisfying as a relaxing night with a beautiful guillotine gun! Acquired by playing through the Dead Kings DLC main story missions, guillotine guns are the craziest weapon in the game. Ubisoft basically went full psycho here. If you were expecting AC Unity to stay grounded in any sort of realism, the guillotine gun is here to chop that dream in half and then blow it to pieces. I would like you to imagine a grenade launcher with an axe blade jammed on top of it. Oh, I wasn't going anywhere with that description, by the way. That's literally what the guillotine gun actually is. 
Guillotine Gun has some of my favorite animations in the game. It's ostensibly a pretty heavy weapon, but the way Arno moves and twists and kicks enemy weapons away is very fluid and satisfying. The crunches as he buries the blade in some poor fellow's back are nothing short of breathtakingly gruesome, and if you don't care very much about your personal well-being, you can always quickshot the group you're fighting with one of your grenades, causing massive splash damage all around you. Don't forget, you have medicine, but the enemy doesn't. Ah, oh, video games. Guillotine Gun basically has the heavy weapon's heavy attack and a staggering strike that's relatively satisfying. I find that of all the weapons in the game, Guillotine Gun, along with the rifle, is my favorite to fight with. This has been every weapon type in Assassin's Creed Unity explained. I hope you found this overview educational or entertaining, and if I'm very lucky, you found it to be both. Thanks so much for watching. Combat's not really my thing in this game, so I try to be and encourage others.